Levi Horn continues training camp with the Chicago Bears. Tonight, John Fritz and photojournalist Jordan Kasky have the story of why his success reaches beyond the gridiron. It is a neighborhood whose reputation can be unforgiving and unrelenting, where poverty levels rival those of any in the state. But for those who call Hilliard home, it is a community unwilling to surrender to stereotypes. Its rehabilitation has many facets, not the least of which can be found here. Rogers High School, House of the Pirates, and home to at least one program committed to its core. Hit, hit, go. Seven feet, seven feet, seven feet. But I really think that, that football and being a part of this and having some brothers and having some father figures is going to really help them. It was in these halls and on those fields where Levi Horn found his direction, a player with unlimited potential, but a kid who shouldered the struggles of so much more. I didn't have the best experience growing up. Uh, you know, me and my mom and my family, we had hardships. But you can get through all of it. You can still make it. You can still go to college. You don't have to uh, wind up and be affected by alcohol and drugs your whole life. He was on the edge of not making it. But at the same time, uh, one of those guys that I think football really, really helped save him. Having somebody to hold him accountable, having coaches that would call him at night and pick him up in the morning. Football was his outlet, providing a path from high school to college. Now, an All-American tenure at Montana has led to the bright lights of the NFL, a budding career with the Chicago Bears, the foundation of which came from his original core of mentors. Any type of help, they were always there for me, you know, guidance. And then even when I went to college and when I was going through my ups and downs in college, I know I could always call any of those guys up and they always helped me out. So it should be no surprise his offseason is gladly spent at home, helping the next generation of Pirates find its potential. To have a guy that's done something with his life, to come back, it's, uh, it says a lot. The cool thing about having him come back is, is he can tell a story. He's one of them. He grew up, he had some tough things in his life. Through lots of ups and downs, made it and did a good job. He's everything that's good about Rodgers and uh, a perfect story for our kids to hear. Yeah, it's all I've ever wanted to do except for play football. I mean, right when, right when I got to this level, even in college, I said I want to give back. You know, I just want to know if they can do it. I did it. But the depth of his message reaches far beyond his hometown. Horn has made it his mission to plant it at his roots. Thank you guys and thank you for the generosity of the Spokane tribe to bring me out here. It's really an honor. A member of the Northern Cheyenne tribe, he travels to reservations around North America, speaking of hope for its residents. I take a lot of pride in where I come from and where I grew up and uh, you know how I've turned out through all my troubles. You know, I wasn't the straight arrow in high school and stuff, but a lot of people kept me online and need to repay the community and help the, help the children. And as Native American, I think it's even more important because they don't have that many role models in the community. If you look at what our young people and what our community members are exposed to now uh, negatively uh, in their lives each and every day, whether it's alcohol, uh, drugs, domestic violence, uh, gangs, whatever it might be, we need to offset that as much as we can to give them hope and bringing somebody like Levi in that is a role model, a good example of what they can achieve if they truly believe, then it's important that we bring these people into the community to spend time with our young people. From the east coast of the country to just up the road at Welpinit, the payoff of his visits comes from the kids he hopes to affect. I thought it was pretty cool that like, we could actually find someone successful like doing their dream. It was cool to see that and that he was able to make it. When I know people could do it, then it gets me more motivated. At first glance, his is a route defined by football. Take a closer look, success for Levi Horn has little to do with the sport. 
you know, my hat's off to sort of the guy for what he's done and what he has yet to do because he's only scratched the surface on what the Lord has set before him as a challenge to do. And it's not the NFL. That's not why we're proud of Levi. Uh, you know, that's obviously a part of the story. But for Levi to be who he is and making the choices he's making, you know, he's got engaged, he's responsible, he's showing up on time. He's gonna be a good guy in, in, in the public eye for a long time. You wouldn't have thought that with Levi as a freshman or sophomore. So I'm proud of him for that, for sure.